947 on this Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it. We have Carl Nelson, the chief scientist with the Imagination Station, and he's brought out the big guns this morning. What Absolutely. are we looking at here? Well, severe weather th season is coming up, and even something as innocuous as a ping pong ball traveling at hundreds of miles per hour can be dangerous. Oh, this sounds right. like when they talk about dropping a penny off of the Empire State Building. That's, a, that's an interesting one. We'll, we'll get to that someday. <laughs> it's not true. It's like a myth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not a myth, though. What we're going to do is we're going to accelerate this ping pong ball using this PVC pipe. Okay. And let me explain the setup here. There's already a ping pong ball in here, about right there. I've sealed both ends of the pipe with uh, some Dorito bags. These things are incredibly tough. Okay. okay. They make a great seal. <laughs> because what we're going to do is we're going to remove the air from inside the tube. All right. I'm going to give you your tool right here, very ah. sharp. Right. Don't do it yet. Okay. When I give you the signal, after we remove all the air, you're going to break that seal. Air is going to rush in, 14.7 pounds per square inch. It's going to accelerate the ping pong ball down the tube. <clears throat> Theoretically, at the end, it could reach 555 miles per hour. Wow. Got two empty soda cans down here. We're going to see if we can shoot through both of the cans. The, the ping pong ball is going to go right clear through it, them. There's a lot of variables here. It all depends on how well you burst that <laughs> oh, seal, no. how quickly the air comes in, if the ping pong ball is spinning. There's lots of stuff. How good of a vacuum we get. Okay. So lots of variables here. But let's just try it and see what happens. So right. first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pump on. And we're going to do this in two stages. I've got a gauge here that shows atmospheric pressure. Okay. I'm going to remove the air from the tube first. Or, I'm sorry, from the hose first. Okay. So you can see the gauge is going to drop down to a vacuum. Got negative 30 millimeters of mercury. And now the next thing, very slowly, I'm going to open this valve down here. I'll let you do that. I don't want to open it too quick, because if you do it too fast, the foil might break, and we'll have uh, something bad happen. <laughs> so see if we can drop the pressure very, very slowly. We don't want the foils to break. This is a delicate procedure. It is. This is, this is where things can go wrong. But it looks is, like uh, it's Carl dropping down. Mad scientist it's dropping here. down really nicely. We're lowering the pressure. <laughs> So, Tony, I'm going to give you a countdown. OK. Go three, two, one, and you're going to then burst that seal. OK. Just don't hit my hand. All right, okay. let's see if we can get uh, close up on the Yeah, because all the action is going to happen on the soda cans right. down there. All right, okay. ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so let's see what happened down wow. here. Wow. I think we woke up the neighbors. There is there is quite a loud crack when it hits the can. Okay, so we we went into one can. Oh, look at that. All right, so we trapped the ping pong ball inside the can. <laughs> now, it dented the other one, and too. And it dented the other one. That was probably because this can came loose and smashed into that one. Um, in practice, though, I have actually been able to get it to completely shred right through one can. Wow. Um, and, you know, something like this. So. And, and you mentioned this because of severe weather season. Yeah. I mean, objects can start traveling at high rates of speed. Even something as simple as a ping pong ball going fast enough can be dangerous. So when you hear people say, you know, take shelter, you should do that, obviously. Right. Nice illustration. Thanks very yeah. much, Carl. If you want to check out Carl and all of his wizardry, you can head down to the Imagination Station. That's at One Discovery Way. It is open today at noon, going until 5 o'clock, and then, uh, well, open this morning at 10 and tomorrow at noon. And, of course, you can imagine just about anything down there. Bring it up to the scientists, and then they'll be happy to talk to you about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> Including the penny. The right. penny. We'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that. We one. Will. <laughs> Thanks very much. We're going to turn it now over to the guys with sports.